What's up guys, it's Talha here and in this video we are going to be modeling a simple backyard scene in Revit. Let's get started. So here I am in Revit and you can see I have already created a simple model. These are just walls and and I have just added this pre-made kitchen family and a ceiling and some lights now we will create our backyard here somewhere around here so it's going to be very simple but i hope you will learn a lot from this tutorial so first we will create a floor so just select floor from here and we will create a rectangle and let's change it to 13 feet and the length we will make it uh, 20 feet ok now select all and move it to the corner of this wall here and let's go to edit type Let's duplicate and we will keep it 6 inches so just keep it 6 inches ok ok and now we will add a grass to this floor so go back to edit type again and I will create a new material let's call it grass I will select an image which I have already downloaded from the internet you can download this image from my blog if you want ok 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 finish and you can see we have created something like this and now we will load some families to our project so go to insert load family and go to that folder here i have we have to load all these families you can download them from my website for free select all open open it will just upgrade the families okay now i will just un uncheck this section box because we want to see this whole thing now we will add a glass door here so you know that we cannot directly add a glass door to the wall so you have to create a curtain wall then you have to add the door so first we will load that door family so go to load family again and insert and here I have this this the default Revit families folder go to the doors guys. here we have doors I will select this one if you want to use any other door families you can you can choose but I will select this one and open now we will create a glass here a curtain wall so go to level 1 and uh, architecture wall here you have this storefront you have to select scroll down and go to edit type duplicate and we don't want any vertical grids so in the layout you have to select none and in the horizontal grid we will just keep it fixed dix, fixed dix. <laughs> we will keep it fixed distance and the spacing we will make 7 feet which is going to be the height of the door and ok and unconnected also we will change it to 7 feet ok just go back we, we, we will not select any horizontal grid also just select none here ok and we will give the door height in unconnected height here so 
7 feet will be the door height of the door now let's create one let's create the curtain wall like this 5 feet so this 5 feet is going to be the the width of our door let's go to 3d and it's looking like this we don't want any of these uh, any any of the mullions so select one this just uh, just hover over this mullion and hit tab key a couple of times and it will highlight the mullion now right click select all instances visible in view and unpin delete now we will add the door so you have you don't need to select the curtain wall you will not get the door option here you have to select the panel so again just zoom in hover over the edge of this curtain wall and hit tab key and you can see seeing system panel now you have to unpin first then from this drop down you have to select that door which we have just loaded so it's looking like this if you cannot see these handles you can just change this uh, what's this you can change this detail level to fine then you can see these handles now we will create a floor here so what's wrong here I think we have there is you see there is some offset here so we have to change it to zero now we will create another floor on this one so go back to level one select floor edit type duplicate let's make it like three inches and okay go to edit select we'll change the material okay you have to change the thickness here so change it to three inches and click here to change the material Cre create new one uh, wood panel you can you can call it whatever you like now click on this and go to the appearance click here to load the image of course you can download this image also from my website select this open and change the size of this so click on the image again I don't know why it's not showing here so maybe I think we have to restart revit again click on the image again so we we want to change the size of the texture three feet by three feet done we will add some reflectivity so let's add only like seven seven direct and oblique we will make five so i suggest you to add the reflectivity for all these textures you use in your in your interior renderings so it will look very good but you don't you only need to add less than 10 you don't need to increase the over 10 it will it will look like glass so you only need to make direct 7 or oblique 5 it works every time for me now okay okay again and draw a rectangle and select this pick lines tool and give it offset 3 feet 6 and from this side we will give uh, 8 feet trim and extend and trim these lines as well and we have to give some offset because it's not going to be on the see we want to take this a bit up from this ground level so first i will show you if i click ok it will give you a, give us an, a warning highlighted floors overlap because these two floors are touching so just ignore that warning and we will give height offset three inches which is the thickness of this floor and now you can see it's looking like this it's a bit up from this ground now we will add some tiles here i don't know i don't know what you call 
but I will call tiles for this tutorial. So go to level one. We will use floor to create create those tiles here. So go back to architecture floor edit type duplicate because we want to we want the same thickness but we want to put different materials so just keep it three inches and click here and just type tile and it will show some tile materials select this one and go to appearance and just I have already edited this material maybe you will see this relief pattern selected you need to uncheck this and in the graphics this this foreground also will be some this kind of pattern so you have to check none here and in the back in the in the cut pattern also you have to select none okay now just click okay let's create a rectangle first thickness the the width of this will be three feet and the length will be one foot four and place it here we will place it on the middle of this so select all move and from this middle to the middle of this floor line here and now here also we need to change it to three inches the height offset and finish so we, we got this now we will copy so go back to level one again select copy uh, check the multiple and it's okay first we will just copy one because we want to give some measurements here so select this okay so we will use this model line and draw a line here to inch and select this floor and move it here delete this model line because we just used it for reference now we will copy this floor select this copy make sure to se select the multiple and we'll copy from here okay now we don't want all of the all of these on the same line so go back again to level one select these floors and okay just un just hold shift key to deselect and hold control to select multiple now we will move it to this side okay so if we go into 3d it's looking very nice now but i will stop this tutorial right here because it's already over 10 minutes I will try to finish this in the second part or maximum it will be a three part tutorial series because I want to make the rendering tutorial separately so stay tuned for that and don't forget to like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the bell icon and see you guys in the next part of this tutorial